when you're using a large language model, and I'm sure a lot of you on the call have already used things like ChatGPT, you may have had the play with the OpenAI API connector, you may even have Azure OpenAI, which is a very similar service. There's this concept of tokens when we're sending responses back to a large language model and when we get responses back. Now, the way tokens work is you have a word and it's broken up into tokens. And the reason for this is that it helps large language models become more performant when they're trying to determine what token to respond back. So the fact that you have larger words broken down into smaller pieces also then helps you with doing things like determining what token to select next. So when we do things like text completion, we have a sentence like, it's a beautiful day, let's go to the. We start typing BE and actually a completion large language model will start to suggest what the next token is going to be. And you can see on that screenshot we've got there that we've got different percentages and that percentage is based on the likeliness that token would follow on to start to complete that sentence. So when we go to the and we get BE as 50%, most likely you're going to be what we're going to use next, but we could also have park. And in fact, in that instance, you've got park repeated. This is where we start to look at one of the parameters of the large language model known as temperature. What temperature means is that if we have a temperature of zero, a large language model is going to be very deterministic in its response. And when we say deterministic, what we mean is that it's going to play it safe and it's going to select that top percentage there, that BE. If you have it at zero, it's just going to skim the top of that pool of tokens and it will take BE and continue with that. If we start to increase that temperature and with open AI that goes from zero to one, the steps of 0.1, as you start to increase that, that allows the large language model to start to dive down into that pool of tokens. This probably demonstrates it a little bit better. So you've got a scale of high probability to low probability with your different tokens and your temperature, or in some cases you can use a different parameter called top P, which is your nucleus. As you increase that, it then allows your large language model to essentially give you more creative output. If you've used Bing Chat Enterprise, and you've looked at before you start a chat that says, do you want to be more creative, balanced or accurate? That is a control of temperature. That is the parameter that you're changing.